Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As we saw in the previous video, we continue the smelting process for several long hours until we achieve our goal. We also use borax, sodium carbonate, and also saltpeter or potassium nitrate. Using fluxes like borax, sodium borate, sodium carbonate, and potassium nitrate saltpeter is crucial in various metallurgical and welding processes. Here are the reasons why each of these substances is used. Borax sodium borate cleaning agent. Borax helps to clean the metal surfaces by removing oxides and other impurities. Lowering melting point. It lowers the melting point of the unwanted oxides, helping them to flow away from the metal, which ensures a cleaner and smoother weld or cast. Protection, it provides a protective cover over the molten metal, preventing further oxidation during the heating process. Sodium carbonate. Deoxidizing. Sodium carbonate acts as a deoxidizer, helping to remove oxygen from the metal surface, which reduces oxidation and improves the quality of the weld or cast. Fluxing agent. It reacts with silica and other impurities to form a liquid slag that can be easily removed, thereby cleaning the metal surface. Potassium nitrate saltpeter. Oxidizing agent. Potassium nitrate acts as a strong oxidizing agent. It helps to oxidize impurities, particularly sulfur and phosphorus, which can then be removed as slag. Combustion. In processes like blacksmithing or certain types of metal processing, potassium nitrate helps to sustain a higher temperature by providing oxygen for combustion, which can be particularly useful in reducing processes where a controlled oxidizing environment is needed. Combined use. When used together, these fluxes facilitate. Improved metal purity. By removing oxides and other impurities, the final metal product is of higher purity. Better flow. These fluxes help the molten metal flow better, filling molds more completely and creating more precise and defect-free castings or welds. Enhanced mechanical properties. Reducing impurities improves the mechanical properties of the metal, making it stronger and more durable. In summary, the combination of borax, sodium carbonate, and potassium nitrate provides a comprehensive approach to managing impurities and enhancing the quality of metal work through their cleaning, deoxidizing, and oxidizing properties. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. Gold dust or tibber can be found in various regions around the world such as the United States, especially in California and Alaska, Canada, Australia, South Africa, and Russia. On gold deposits in soil, volcanic and sedimentary rocks. Gold deposits are most often found in volcanic quartz veins. Sedimentary deposits, gold can be found in sedimentary deposits such as sand and gravel that settle water over time. Contains mines, in some areas, gold is extracted from mines located in gold veins deep in the ground. Please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. Melting precious metals is preferable to be done through special furnaces due to the following reasons. Precise temperature control, precious metals such as gold, silver, and platinum require specific temperatures for melting. Special furnaces provide the ability to precisely adjust temperatures to preserve the properties of the metal and prevent damage. Avoid contamination, precious metals are sensitive to contamination by impurities. Special furnaces are designed to minimize interaction with other materials and prevent contamination, maintaining the purity of the metal. Let us now see what we obtained with this method and also confirm with this method the presence or absence of gold in this sample.
Notice here that it appears without a doubt that it is a bright yellow sparkle. It is considered gold metal. After we have confirmed the presence of gold in this sample, it is worth the work and effort. In this way, all the work can be completed in a much larger quantity. Please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. From here, the chemical method will begin to separate silver from gold, whether by diluted nitric acid or electrolysis. Thanks for watching.